Good day, everybody, and welcome to another edition of the Military and Foreign Affairs Network. I am your host, the Voice of Reason. I wanted to conduct a midday update of the ongoing civil war taking place inside of the former state of Ethiopia. Uh, we continue to get uh, reports and information coming out of the region uh, in terms of some ongoing operation and operations and uh, possible further uh, preparatory plans for even larger operations uh, on the part of the uh, Tigrayan Defense Forces. So we're going to have a look at the two uh, major theaters of operation, uh, theaters of operations right now uh, within the uh, confines of the conflict uh, outside of the, uh, the uh, uh, engagements and the fighting that is taking place uh, in the uh, Romia region. Uh, but specifically, we're looking at uh, both the southeastern front of uh, the ongoing fighting between the Tigrayan Defense Forces uh, and the Abi Loyalists. Uh, again, uh, this uh, frontal zone right now in terms of the southeastern uh, frontal zone is now south of Waja and uh, extends both to the west and to the east of Kobo. So again, it would appear that the Tigrayan Defense Forces are now re-threatening uh, Kobo. And we could see a, a fairly large-scale operation or the threat of a large-scale operation uh, towards uh, Kobo. Now, with that being said, uh, the recent uh, large-scale offensive by the Tigrayan Defense Forces in which we saw the seizure of Kobo, followed by Weldia, Mercer, Wichale, Haik, Dese, Kombolcha, Kamise, and further south uh, with the final threatening of uh, Debre Sena. And uh, it would appear that at least on the side of the Obi loyalists, again, somewhat separate, but again the same uh, as the Amhara regional militia groups. But uh, at, at this point, uh, there is still quite a bit of focus by the Obi loyalists, by the federal Ethiopian forces of the Obi loyalists, uh, again, very, very concerned about a renewed offensive by the Tigrayan Defense Forces uh, south. Uh, the Tigrayan Defense Forces have proven that they could rapidly advance south under the right conditions and seize large amounts of terrain and territory uh, and uh, 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 cause the, uh, the wholesale destruction of a fairly a large amount of, uh, of a B loyalist formations, uh, i.e. divisions, brigades, battalion groups, and so forth uh, in these operations. So we're not seeing the, uh, the deployment of the B loyalists uh, into the western uh, area of operations towards uh, western Tigray. Again, uh, we are continuing to see a buildup of the Tigrayan Defense Forces within the, uh, the area of western Tigray. We are continuing to see uh, what looks like a, a fairly large-scale operation that is underway by the Tigrayan Defense Forces uh, within the, uh, the western Tigray region. And again, uh, because of the threat that the Tigrayan Defense Forces have, has posed uh, to the, uh, the along the uh, southeastern front, we're not seeing some of these uh, 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 better units of the Abi loyalists being transferred uh, towards the west, and we could possibly see a, an operation take place uh, against the largely Amhara regional militias that are occupying the Western Tigray, and then obviously the Eatrian army uh, is operating in Western Tigray as well. Uh, so again, the threat of a uh, renewed operation south by the Tigrayan Defense Forces are holding uh, a quite significant force of the Abi loyalists uh, in the direction along the southeastern front. So again, a, you're, we continue to see a large-scale deployment of a B loyalist forces of the federal forces, uh, the the Ethiopian National Defense Forces allied uh, with a B Ahmed and the Prosperity Party, that uh, continue to operate and shore up 
uh, the areas around Kobo and then further south. But at the same time, uh, we are seeing operations, ongoing operations, by the Tigrayan Defense Forces now uh, south of Waja, west of Waja, east of Waja, west of Kobo, east of Kobo as, as well. So that threat of the Tigrayan Defense Forces of making a renewed push, a renewed operation uh, back into the uh, Amhara region along the southeastern front is a, is a clear and present danger for the Abi loyalists. And that's why we're continuing to see a large force posture of the Abi loyalists located along the southeastern front. Uh, and uh, quite frankly, they, they may need to be concerned about a fairly large scale operation that could occur and is, is in fact, is occurring uh, in terms of a, a current operation in the Western Tigray region. Uh, we've talked about uh, the deployment of uh, smaller groups now crossing the Tekizi River, infiltrating uh, deep into uh, Western Tigray, uh, many kilometers past the Tekizi River. Uh, we know that uh, there are elements of the TDF operating north of uh, this locale, Adiramets, uh, and also to just to the uh, to the east of Adiramets, and again, uh, this is kind of the terrain that the Tigrayan Defense Forces prefer to operate in, and then obviously further to the west and to the southwest of Adiramets, we we continue to see uh, the the possible deployment of Tigrayan Defense Forces. Uh, so again, we we could see that uh, the town of Adiramets and the uh, the Amhara regional militias and Eritrean army units that are uh, defending uh, this major roadway that would that would then take uh, a a possible uh, force to uh, the uh, town of uh, Hamora are are present near Adi Ramets and could in fact uh, at some point very soon uh, be besieged by the Tigrayan defense forces in terms of isolating uh, Adi Ramets and then a possible move. Uh, down the uh, main roadways leading to uh, Hamora. But again, uh, we're watching this this very closely. We're hearing reports of, uh, of, of really buildups and, and possible uh, ability by the Tigrayan Defense Forces to uh, in, in, in quite possibly launch a multi-pronged offensive both in the uh, southeastern portions of the uh, Tigray region, meaning uh, along the uh, the Amharan T T Tigrayan border, uh, just north of Kobo and west and east of Kobo, and at the same time, we've seen some some very large elements of the Tigrayan defense forces uh, being moved uh, in the direction of western Tigray. We continue to see the Tigrayan defense forces uh, now operating uh, near and south of uh, a DRK. And, uh, and again, uh, everything points to uh, what, what could uh, become a fairly large-scale, renewed uh, offensive operation by the Tigrayan Defense Forces. I know over the past few weeks, uh, we have seen uh, the Tigrayan Defense Forces uh, leave the Amhara region after uh, pressing all the way down towards uh, uh, Debre Burhan. And uh, once the uh, Tigrayan Defense Forces had taken Shia Robot and were threatening Debra Burhan, uh, in fact, we were seeing uh, some elements within the regime, uh, the Abi Ahmed regime in Addis Ababa, actually preparing uh, to take flight. And uh, only the, the really the last minute intervention of uh, Turkish forces, Turkish uh, drones, uh, United Arab Emirates. Uh, drones and, and contract uh, uh, personnel to operate said drones uh, prevented the Tigrayan Defense Forces from uh, overrunning Debre Burhan and then proceeding further south and uh, quite possibly meeting up with Oromo Liberation Army units and in fact then entering uh, Addis Ababa, also known as Fen Fene. Uh, but after that uh, that pullback by the Tigrayan Defense Forces, there had been talk that uh, there there was a settlement uh, possibly underway, in which uh, we would see the uh, the Abi loyalists, the Amhara regional militias, uh, pull out of Western Tigray. Now, with that being said, it it, it appears uh, there has been some sticking points to that pullout, and there appears to be a a a, a fracture between. Uh, the uh, the Amhara element 
of the Abi loyalists and the Amhara regional paramilitaries, the uh, the regime in Eritrea, and uh, any possible agreements made with the Abi Ahmed regime uh, once those Tigrayan forces pulled out of the Amhara region and uh, relinquished control of uh, Dese, Kambolcha, Weldia. Uh, the Tigrayan Defense Forces obviously could have put up a much, much more significant fight, uh, especially within the area of Weldia, but they, they chose to pull back and withdraw uh, from Weldia past Kobo and back into the uh, Tigray region proper. Now, obviously, there appears to be, uh, again, uh, that split in some of the decision-making processes within the B. Uh, loyalist camp, especially uh, the uh, the Eritrean side of things. I, I, I at this point, uh, it does not look like the Eritrean army and Isaiah Safwerki wishes to leave the Western Tigray region. Uh, at the same time, you have uh, Amhara uh, regional paramilitary units uh, that also are refusing to leave uh, Western Tigray, and we may look uh, at at a at a operation. Uh, that is now uh, quite possibly underway for the Tigrayan Defense Forces to evict uh, the forces of the Amhara regional paramilitaries and the Eritrean army from western Tigray. But at the same time, uh, continue to watch what's going on in southeastern Tigray. Uh, there continues to be a robust force of the TDF operating uh, along the uh, complete frontal zone uh, extending from uh, uh, east and west of Kobo, all the way uh, up towards uh, Sakota and, and areas uh, to the west of there as well. So we're continuing to watch this very closely. Uh, we're, we're getting uh, information in that we could see a, a uptick in operations by the Tigrayan Defense Forces. Uh, I don't want to say that, uh, that we could be seeing a, a new large-scale operation at this point because there is already a fairly large operation underway. But uh, where will the full weight and uh, firepower of the Tigrayan uh, Defense Forces be eventually be directed? Is it, is it more towards western Tigray, or could we see a renewed push uh, in the uh, southeastern portions of the Tigray region? Right now, it looks like uh, the preparatory phases for a move into western Tigray are uh, underway as we speak. And uh, at the same time, we're not seeing the deployment of uh, of some of the uh, the 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 better trained uh, federal forces of the Abi loyalists being redeployed to the Western Tigray region. We continue to see the uh, the Amhara regional militias and uh, elements of the Eritrean op uh, army operating for the most part in in Western Tigray. So this could lead on to a a, a head on collision, a renewed head on collision uh, with the Tigrayan defense forces against. Uh, the uh, the despotic regime of Isaiah Safwerki uh, and uh, Eritrea. Uh, more to come soon. We're watching this very very closely, and uh, we'll, we'll have more later. We're we're also uh, just one more side note. Uh, in some of these recent recent engagements, uh, it is worth noting, uh, especially uh, around a DRK south of a DRK and in other areas, uh, there have been hundreds and hundreds. Of, of new prisoners taken uh, by the Tigrayan Defense Forces uh, of uh, both uh, Amhara regional militias and uh, uh, other uh, paramilitary units as well of regional special forces by the uh, Tigrayan Defense Forces in some of those uh, envelop and destroy operations that I've been talking about that have been occurring, uh, especially uh, near our DRK and other areas. But again, that's what we have for right now. More to come very, very soon. Thanks for joining us. Have a good day.